Hi guys, uh, Frosadamus here. I released yesterday my UI and uh, apparently it went so smooth for me because the WTF folder was already made for my character's name and you might experience some issues with uh, some of the add-ons and if you didn't get my UI maybe you should watch this video because, because I'm gonna show some add-ons and how to configure them. You might want to see them because they're really interesting. So I changed my character with a new character so everything will be freshly just like you. It will show it will be shown just like on your screen. And then we're gonna go through the add-ons that didn't got saved. So as we can see basically all the interface remains saved like it should be. We have the default UI and uh, first issue that you can see it's the casting bar you can go slash a acb and this will pop out you can disable the mirror you can move it wherever you like it and here on general which is the casting bar you can increase the height make it bigger smaller I like a small casting bar and hide border maybe uh, hide outline and don't want to use bird maybe you can change the colors I used it blue I don't know why it's there we go and um, that's it let's let's see if we have something to cast here uh, probably that's but it should be quite simple the next issue that we got it's that uh, cooldowns are not shown on on the portrait portraits like this oh no it's shown some people didn't see this so uh, how you do this it's slash AFS and then this will pop out now you can unlock this and bloody hell and drag it on the other side and here you have a uh, you can scale them you can but you're interested in the features here now uh, someone asked about the mouse overcast you can enable uh, mouse of overcast on frames on even outside the battlegrounds the features and on these frames you can do for example an integrated cast bar here but uh, that will be too much because you already have one here down here uh, and for to show cooldowns here, you have to to check those two on target on our player. Here you will see your your cooldowns, and here you will see the CC cooldowns on uh, targets. Uh, here you can enable a movable target cast bot, but I'm pretty sure you already have this enabled from the mod UI, so you don't need to use that. The buff timers on target, yes. Then you can go to optionals, but that's all for the moment. Enable na nameplate cast bar. First, check check if on your nameplate there's already a cast bar from the mod UI. And that should be all for this add-on. Lock this again, and you have to do a reload for this to disappear, but that's no worry. Now, so I said something about having cooldowns on top here. Let me check if we have it. No, we don't have it. And how you do that? You do slash cooldowns. Cooldowns on. And then you go slash cooldowns unlock. And there we have it. Now it's a bit it's a bit messy but it's quite easy to fix here your cooldowns will be shown in that direction and let's lock this right click to lock it oh you can um, show in which way you would like the cooldowns to go I do not use uh, player cooldowns so I'll go slash cooldowns player off player 
player off. I do not want to use it. I want to see only the the target. And I don't want to see the target of target because there's already an integrated uh, that in the add-on. So slash cooldowns cooldowns target of tar get off that should work no target 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 I think it's yep and I'm just gonna enable player on so you see how they will look and let's slash cool down lock um, in the readme file from the UI you downloaded there's a link to this add-on showing you like hundreds of commands you can change the textures of the of the buffs and let's see as you can see here my cooldowns are shown here and if the target uses a cooldown it will be shown there as well what other cooldowns we have here destructing shot will have a cooldown I think but we cannot see the enemy because those animal those beasts are not using any cooldowns but you can see now we can see the slow effects we can see our cooldown here if you want but I don't like to enable it for players because I already have them here distraction shot has shown a cooldown and it will be shown like this on the battlegrounds or on something else on players usually uh, other issues I don't think there are on this yeah I don't know why it they didn't remain saved but you can configure them that's good to know and it's not quite that hard it took me only two or three minutes let's go to the add-on section and see what other issues you might experience and uh, there was another issue with the vanilla guide which remained set for horde if you're horde that's fine just uh, let it be like that but if you're alliance you need to go into the WTF folder and delete some files I'll show you in a moment the ox it remains set mm. I think that should be everything to be honest there shouldn't be any other issues okay so with the vanilla guide if I go now in let me check if it's uh, if it's set to horde I think it, it should be set to horde yeah it's set to horde and it doesn't recognize the night elf so what we have to do here is do an exit game and go to the WTF folder to the account enter the account and go to saved here and you'll have all the add-ons and I want you to delete uh, vanilla guide Lua and vanilla guide then you go back to the account and you go on your character and you have a saved variables here and you do the same for the there we go now we go back into the game and we check if it, everything is oh boy it's enabled I'm gonna disable the DPS meter and now it should be resetted okay it's resetted now you can configure it back to the way it was by doing some color changing some scale I don't know you may want to big it smaller you can bind it on the key bindings and choose your preferred colors to see on this and let's see introduction human dwarfs gnomes night elves great human 110 
Yep, it's working. Just make sure you change the colors and Okay. I think that's all. Let's check if everything remains. Do I have a casting spell here? I can cast Mend Pet. As you can see, my um, casting bar remains saved. You can design it however you want. Uh, cooldowns. I need to make my key bindings again. I can see them here, and if you heard that sound, it's because this is the only add-on I think in this pack that will make an error sometimes. So what you have to do is go, if you don't want to hear the sound, it's slash IF, which is improved error frame, and sound played upon notification, you can go slash IF sound off, and now it says no sound will be displayed. Great, so we don't want to see the sound. What other cooldowns we have here? As you can see, and it would be shown from here to there on the target. And I think that's all. If any, any other, any other issues will appear, please leave a comment down. We'll try to figure it out without making another video. But we got so many questions on the last video and people need to know about them. So, slash cooldown, slash cast F. Okay. Later, guys.